Well, NATO Supreme Allied Commander Philip Breedlove briefed members of the House and Senate Armed Services Committees behind closed doors this week about what is going on in Ukraine and potential future Russian troop movements. One of the senators in that briefing joins us now live, West Virginia Democrat Senator Joe Manchin. Senator, good to see you. Thanks for coming in today. Um, let me ask you, based on what you know, what are your concerns at this well, point? You know, outside of our country, that's the hottest thing we have right now is Ukraine. And Democrats and Republicans should be united on this. Ukraine's got to w have the will to fight. We have to have the will to support them. NATO has to have the will to, to, to come together also. And then, basically, our NATO, uh, NATO allies right there are very concerned. Mm -hmm. And we've got to show them that the support, you know, bar none, we're going to be there for them. We're going to be there to help them, work with them, and to fight with them if we need. From that standpoint, we don't want to be drawn into this thing. Ukraine's a very, very... Uh, uh, it's, it's a very delicate situation since basically Ukraine is not a member of NATO and that we don't have the same jurisdiction or same powers or the same agreements. With that being said, they need all the help they can to get rid of, make no mistake about it, a Russian influence, the Russian orchestrated, if you will, rebels, hooligans, whatever you want to call them, that are well trained and well disciplined doing what they're doing. And we've got to be willing to stand behind Ukraine to help them do what they need to do to get rid of this insurgency. Now, does that provoke Russia moving on their troops in? I would hope Russia would think twice before doing that. Let me ask you, uh, a number of your Republican colleagues mm -hmm. have put together the Russian Aggression Prevention Act of 2014. It would strengthen NATO. There would be new rounds of sanctions. Uh, it would do things like force the president to move forward with missile defense in Europe, which was tabled, essentially. Could you support something like that? What do you think is the right move for oh, us Oh, absolutely. Now? We all need to find out how sanctions are by far the best way for us to go, by far, because nobody wins in these land wars, if you will, and we've proven that it's not something we have an appetite for. With that being said, we know that sanctions do work. They worked in Iran. Should we double down in Iran and make them even tighter? I think that will happen. Uh, do, can we uh, force Russia to come to their senses because economically they can't stand what we can do to them? Can we go after their energy market, which is at the heart of who they are? It's the pulse of what they have going on right now, and they're using that to their advantage. Everything and anything that we possibly can do should be done. So, yes, I would work with my Republican and Democrat colleagues to find the strongest measures we can to curtail this aggression from Russia and prevent that. If there's going to be a civil war, it's sometimes hard to prevent a civil war from that standpoint. But if this war is brought on and they want to disguise it as a civil war because of the support and influence of Russia, then it should be re revealed for what it is. Do you think that Putin has gone so far down this path, though, that um, sanctions will or won't get his attention at this point? Oh, I think sanctions will. Anytime you get to someone's pocketbook, and pocketbook, uh, money is power to them right now. You know, they've been repressed for so many years, and now they've had so much prosperity, and especially the oligarchs and some of his friends and supporters. He hadn't done too bad himself. So when you look at everything, follow the, follow the money, as they say. Uh, that usually will bring people to their senses. Or if they've gone over, they'll be going by themselves to have no support from behind, and he'll have to retreat, or he won't have people following and supporting him. All right. So this is international. We want you to stick around, and yes, we're going to talk I some domestic issues as well. We're going to take a, a quick break, then we're going to continue our conversation.